Okay, let's go to the hand grips. Um, anyone want to talk about the hand grips? Uh, there was a, if we can go to Dallin Pepper's Instagram account. Basically, there would they said you cannot. Who who wants to talk? Who wants to describe the situation? Jerry, you want to describe the situation? What happened? What caused all the hullabaloo? Yeah, I can try. What what basically the discrepancy is is that the check mark yes picture and the X no picture um, are really just the picture. The, the picture on the right is basically the picture on the left when you put your grips on top of a pull-up bar. And that's the that's what people are so up in arms about. That just because the grip doesn't come past the middle finger when you're holding them out straight, when you throw them over a pull-up bar, it still looks like that. Meaning the, the, the grips on the left and right are probably just the fucking same grips. Nothing's different. They, they both so say bear complex, too. They're, 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 <laughs> yeah, they're very similar. So it does, it, wow, they didn't even like try to fake it and cut the top ones or anything. No. So, and like they needed to be like, I if they if that's what they want, they need to show a good example of them on the bar, the way they have that other picture. You can't have two different hand placements and say this this one's good, this one's not. Well, or they just show two of the same picture. So they they show a pair of orange bear complex grips that don't come past the finger and then yeah. next to it they show a picture of ones that do yeah and then say yes and no yeah i mean it's... is everyone following that basically if you're listening at home and you can't see it there, there's a length that they want to limit the length of the grips and the pictures it, which is fine if they if they want to do that but the pictures make it so that what they're saying makes no sense one of the pictures actually shows the grip going five inches past the fingers, and the other one shows it short of the fingers, and it's just confusing as fuck. And, um, and Dallin shows grips? that. Why are they even – go ahead, Spin. Sorry. And Dallin shows that. He has the same pair of grips on the video to the right. Um, he'll show that he's wearing – basically the same grips look like the good. So like that one's his, good. Yeah. And, and then the same around. grips. This one's bad, but they're the exact same – can we pull out a little bit, uh, Caleb? And, and, and is that and look at that a little wider? Yeah. And I think maybe Victor from Victory Grips made a video about what would happen if you cut your grips to Dude. that specific length. And then you're basically ripping your hands. Do, do the champ? Does the champ use grips? Does Justin Medeiros use grips? Everybody uses grips. Why? They really like help. Cole Sager does not use grips. That's one guy that doesn't. Do you know anybody well, else that you, doesn't? Cole. Yeah, I would train with Cole then. I would change my answer. 100% I'll train with him. Do you throw guys... the fucking grips out. Please throw the grips out. I JR, get rid of the grips altogether. I've heard people hypothesize that um, they think Boz will make them do a workout with no grips this year. Oh, just spring it on them. No grips. Good. Yeah, Jesus. and I mean, what, like good. the way my mind works when I see this picture is not why can't you use this? Why can't you use this? It's what's the reason? Mm -hmm. So my mind goes to okay, something's gonna be at the games where that kind of grip advantage is going to really, really, really cause um, performance that maybe really isn't consistent with anything other than the kind of grip they had. So like I, my mind goes to, and I, I don't want to get into prediction stuff, but if there's a thick pull-up bar, if they have to do bar muscle ups on, on a yoke bar, like similar to the log bar muscle ups at rogue, or if there was a pull-up bar that rotated, if you had a grip that could wrap around it that much, you could create enough torque to where that grip limiting fatigue wouldn't be a factor. And if you don't have those grips, similarly to if you don't have a beaded jump rope made for double under crossovers, when they get announced at the games, you're at a big disadvantage. That's kind Shouldn't of what they not just all just give them a pair of grips and say everybody has to use these grips. Well, you would think they have a a, a grip partner. That's, and, but that's what I'm saying. Just everybody got there and sized them for grips. This is what you're working with, and then that right. defeats anything that rule book wants to say. It's the yeah, CrossFit and, and like, Games is grips, right? And outside of trying to think of why the reason is, like, if I were any of the athletes, I would be buying grips with holes, and I would just be learning how to use the ones with finger holes that no one buys anymore. 
most why what's the use. difference well first of all let me and, ask and you wait, what, what are... your, and put your fingers in them you're saying right because this rule uh, yeah, would yeah, be yeah. moot yeah. But didn't they say that if you have oh. the finger, yeah, you have to actually use the finger holes if Correct. you that's what he's have saying. them. Isn't yeah, that's what I'm saying. Feet, I would but... buy them and learn how to start using them. You're, you're right. I mean, it's just going to sway people to just using the finger holes again. That's just how everybody's going to wear them. But I think they they clarified, though, that that the, the correct picture was what they're going to judge. Like, if they are walking onto the floor, they're going to, you know, check to make sure they're not you know, wearing so double they XL. No rep you when you're actually doing it and it's over the bar. Well, I, I, I mean, I would assume that it's just as you're walking out or they do a check in the corral. Um, yeah. if you have, have the right length. Um, and I don't, I don't know if I like giving them the same, all the same, like whether it's bare complex or whatever, because if you've been using victory grips or what, you know, any of the other ones, and then you're forced to use something else, that's going to be a disadvantage um they had you they had to wear the same shoes for a lot of years and they got rid of it so right hey you um you're gonna know what the grip if they had a grip sponsor you would just know which ones they are and you could just buy them so you become prepared what are the grips for they're to stop tearing but do they also work do they actually improve your grip like you know like they spell yeah. those sell those special mm -hmm. towels you put them on like jars and then it lets you grip it and take the lid off is it is it like yeah. that yeah you yeah, basically you strap you can, yourself in yeah you basically can use your just hang from your wrists and not use as much grip strength. I bet you I've been given 50 pairs of grips over the years and I've thrown them all away or given them to someone. I, 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 I think you get rid of them. Do you guys have a vote on that? Am I completely outvoted three to, three to one on that? Just get rid of grips? I don't think you should get rid of them. I think if they want to make a standard, then I agree with JR. Everybody should just put their fingers in the holes and then that's just what we're doing from now on. Um, if either that or there should be no standard just do what you want to do. They're freaking grips. Um, but I think you should have them for, I mean, just not ripping. Spin, uh, grips or no grips? Yeah. I, I think they should have the grips just because of, I mean, we've seen back in the day, these athletes have their hands shredded when they do high volume gymnastics. Um, so as long as it's an even playing field, which, I don't think anybody was saying that there was an issue or a problem with the length of grips. So to JR's point, I think there's something else that's coming down that they thought about. They just poorly executed how it was delivered. Uh, JR, grips or no grips? Keep them, throw them away. I still say keep them. And to me, I just think about it, it's no different really to me than saying, hey, you can have a certain millimeter knee sleeve and above a certain number is a no-go. Well, you can have grips, any kind of grips you want, unless they have a dowel, and then they're a no-go. Like, it, that's fine with me. And just okay. Um, and, and, I, and I will say this, too. I don't care when they change the rules. To me, it's CrossFit. They can change the rules fucking like JR was uh, um, hypothesizing uh, five minutes before the workout. No grips, people, for this one. And I'm fine with that. What we're, I think what we all do agree on, though, is just the execution was just a, a fumble, right? Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. I think they can change the rules whenever they want to, but they need to be clear. 